Okay. Home team, this is your boy Cam with Cam's Crappy Hole. Let's get caught up on the video. I'm already started, so I'm going to put you guys right into action on two hours work right there in the office. This is your boy Cam. Thanks for joining me. Yank! I'm going to hit this tree that's in the water. And I, this is why I tell you guys you have to remember, you have to know your body of water. That's important that you know your body of water because there's a tree that's in the water back here, and if you don't know it, you would just ride right by it. I know it's here. And once I, if, if, if I can have some luck, I'm going to catch a few and I'm going to ride up there and I'm going to show you the truth. Right here at the, at the boat. I knew it. Yay! Whoa, come here, big boy. Come here. Whoa, man, he's pulling drag. Right here at the boat. Right here at the boat. Where's my net? Where's my net? Right here at the boat. Right here at the boat. We knew it. We knew he was in there. Let me back out a little bit. Let me back out a little bit. Listen, I just told you guys that we were going to throw about six times. Okay, just when I was getting, getting ready to pick that jig up, look at that, that's that fireball red with that chartreuse ditty kid, that nasty bent hook. This is a 13 inch crappie, 13 inch crappie. Let me put my net game. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm gonna have to pull about 10 feet of line off of this. You can see he stretched it, six pound mono. Look at that, let me pull up, let me show you guys. Let me mention this to you guys. I didn't have time to shave. This was just one of those mornings that I knew I felt like the crappie were out there. Look at that. Man, that's a beautiful crappie. Look at that filet on that backside. If it was beef, that tenderloin. <laughs> we're gonna put him in the basket. Beautiful fish. Listen, this is dinner. We're gonna take a few home with us today. But this is about as large as I want to keep right there. I don't want to keep anything bigger than that. Beautiful catch. Come on. Let's see if we can have luck with one more, okay? Now, generally, where there's one crappie, there's another one. Listen, I apologize for you guys. I didn't shave. But please don't be mad at me. Still hang out with me at the, in the comforts of your own home. This is Team Cam with Cam's Crappy Hole YouTube Fishing. Let's get back up there and see if we can have a little bit more luck. You guys have heard me say this on my segment before. The best advice I can give you, slow that jig down. Always slow that jig down. There he is, Yank. Yank. We knew there was one more in there. Let me get my net game together. Let me get my net game together. Make sure you always have that drag set the way you want it, guys. That's very, very important. <laughs> this is dinner that we're catching. We knew he was in there. And let me say this. If you're fishing clear water, sometimes, guys, if you catch one, two, or three, or four out of that, and you don't get any more bites, go to your second spot. Let it settle down for a little bit. That's 11.5. 11.5. Sometimes you don't know the size of the crappie. Sometimes they'll run right to you. Let me back you up a little bit. Sometimes they'll run right to you and you don't know the size until he gets up on the boat. You want, you found out it's a 15 inch crappie and now he's bucking on you big time. Perfect eating size crappie. Perfect eating size crappie. We're gonna head to the back now, guys. Listen, get yourself something to drink. Get yourself, pull your socks all the way up. Get yourself really comfortable because we're just starting. We're going to go to the back to see if we can catch one or two. And this is a segment, okay? 
I want you also, if you need more information like this, you need more segments like this, just visit us or go to my channel, camscrappyhole.com. It's loaded with tips, guys. I've been doing this for 10 years now. This is breakfast. Okay, since we're no longer fishing a tree, let me see if I can show you guys the tree. How it stretches out. You may be able to see it. You may or may not. Let's see if I can show you the limb. Okay, you can see it over here. Let me show you the tree. You guys see the tree right there? I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There's the stump right there. That's the trunk of the tree right there. And it extends all the way out about 20 feet. If you didn't know this, let me show it to you again. If you didn't know this, you would ride right by it. But I remember from past years when this fell, the beavers cut it down. See it in the water right there? See it? Going all the way down? And it extends all the way out there where we were catching those crappie at. Okay, so listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to deeper water. We're going to see if we can catch some crappie in, in, the, um, in about five, six feet of water back at the back. And I got the 1 8 jig here, which is a heavier jig, plus I got the 1 16. We're going to see if we can have a little bit of more luck, okay? But with that being said, you guys have seen in the video at the top left-hand corner or, or my right-hand corner, you will see hooks uh, 20. No, I'm sorry, Hooks, H-O-O-K-S. You can get that 10% off, guys, off of anything, virtually anything in the store. We give that to you as a customer appreciation all the time. So at checkout, okay, you'll get, just punch in Hooks, H-O-O-K-S. H is in Harry, O is in Oscar, O is in Oscar, K is, K is in Kite, S is, no, S is in Sam, yes. Um, and when you order, you're going to get a coupon that looks like this with 10% coupon that you can use as, as checkout you have this card you can reuse that anytime that you want to we've been doing that now for about seven about seven years now guys um, plus when you order any one of my rods which I'm getting ready to show you what I was using you get a trifold uh, brochure that you can sit down in the comforts of your own home and take a look at this okay you get that free and the catalogs will be coming as well I got to talk fast so I need your help for you to listen fast because I'm trying to get back to fishing okay um, let me tell you what, what I'm running, what you see me running in my hand right now, okay? I'm running the 8-Ball Baron EVA split grip, my cams. This is one of my best rod and reels. This is the second best rod and reel that I make. You can see me using it right now on the video. EVA split grip, Fuji Reel C, 6-pound um, drag, and that drag is the single most important thing that you have on your, on your rod and reel. Guys, you have to have that drag set because number one, it'll help you land that fish in the water, get a little bit more control, and it'll help you <laughs> if you hook into a big bass or a cat. These are ultralights, okay? You don't want to battle that without your drag being set properly, okay? That's very, very important. Uh, carbon fiber rod and reel, you guys, if you're not, not familiar with carbon fiber, just Google it, you'll see the material, okay? Um, it's a two-piece, okay? Two-piece ultralight, this is my magic stick. Okay, they come with free shipping. All the rods that I'm getting ready to show you right now that I'm using, you see me fishing with right now, catching dinner or breakfast because I ate both of them. In the morning I was doing fishing grits and in the evening I was doing, uh, I filleted the crappie and uh, with some home style fries with some old cast iron uh, skillets or they call cast iron pans, whichever one you want to want to call it. So at checkout, this right here guys with the uh, code checkout code nasty n-a-s-t-y red r-e-d you get 20 percent off of this rod and real combo plus free shipping but listen if you don't like the eva split grip no worries look i still got you covered if you like the cork handle that same code n-a-s-t-y okay n-a-s-t-y red r-e-d Portuguese cork handle, that's that 8 plus 1 ball bearing reel. This is my nasty stick. It's a 6-2. The magic stick with the EVA split grip is 6 foot. This is 6-2 if you like a little bit more control. Brand new Portuguese cork handle, same Fuji reel seat. But if you're old school, you like that cork handle plus the shrink wrap. Brand new. Brand new. Okay, you get that with the code at checkout. You'll see it on the screen. N-A-S-T-Y-R-E-D. You can choose either one that you want. Okay, whether you want old school cork grip, from, the best cork comes from Portugal, okay? Um, you can choose any one of those that you want, guys. Also, if you have already joined on my email campaign, if you've already joined on my email campaign, we just got finished sending out yesterday, or is it today? Yes, No, yesterday, 
Marley come out the grass um, with the black and gold. This is my black and gold series. 6-2, same as the red 6-2, carbon fiber, and you get 20% uh, off of this one as well by punching in nasty. So whether you want the black and gold series or whether you want the black and red series, it's up to you. Seven plus one ball bearing cams, rod, and reel. Okay, while I'm on this, guys, my next video that, that, I, that I have coming out, my next video, uh, which is Crappy Fishing 101, I, listen, I'm glad to take you guys' money. I don't mind taking you guys' money, but let me kind of, real quick sidebar, I'm not going to go too far in the weeds. You know, guys, I do this quite often, go in the weeds, that is. Listen, Crappy Fishing 101, okay? First thing you do before you're getting ready to get on the boat, fishing from the shore, you got the rod and reel in your hand, this is what I want you to do. Save yourself some money. Check your offset screw. Make sure it's tight. Check your, your handle. Just look over your gear, your, your gear. And also, make sure you change your line out. Guys, every year, every six months, change this line out. Because with the polymers that they use in the new lines that makes them strong, sunshine will rob those polymers of your line. The, rob your line of the polymers I got it backwards blah, 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 that, <laughs> that are in there okay so change your line quite often because I'm telling you what's going to happen you're going to hook that big bass you're going to hook that big cat that you want to bring in or you want to hook that, that big wall hanger crappie and your line's dry rod it it's going to snap so take care of your gear guys you got to do regular maintenance on your rod and reel so many of you guys call me and say Cam listen I need the offset screw and I need the crank handle uh, can, do you have that yeah and I sent them the hyperlink Okay, but I'm trying to save you guys money. I don't want to take your money like that guys every time that you get ready to use your rod and reel Check to make sure your screw is tight and check your check your, your, your rod handle. Make sure everything's good Make sure your reel is seated. Okay, make sure it's tight Okay, these are just little maintenance things that will save you a little bit of money I love to take your money, but I don't want to take your money like that. Okay, so that'll help you on my next video I'm going over crappy fishing 101 things that you guys should, should incorporate into your fishing game that will help you we got the wind that's blowing, so just bear with me a little bit. And I want to show you what I was running, what color. Okay, I got I got them strung up right now on my rod and reel. I keep them strung up. This is what this is the exact one that I, the color that I was running. Okay, I'm running that Fireball Red. Everything that you see that I'm using in the video, guys, including the rod and reels, are right below there in the description. Don't even trip on it. Just go down there, look at it, find what you want, and click it. It'll take you right to the store. All you got to do is put it in your cart and check out. And speaking of checkout, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. Guys, we've been doing this for 10 years now. You guys have been backing me, my day one dudes and my day one uh, females that have been down with me since day one. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I couldn't do this without you. We have the largest crappie and panfish e-commerce store in the world. Nobody has as many uh, items in our store. So much stuff that we had to build two stores. One of them is our overflow store, okay? We got over 1,100 pushing 1,200 products in camscrappyhold.com. You'll see it right down there. Plus in Cam's Crappy Combos, we got over 500 products in there if you want to buy a rod separate or you need to buy a reel separate, okay? And we have more selections of kits within, than anybody out there. If you want a selection of different kits, colors, jig head, stinger shad, curly tail, we got them. They come in a nice water resistant carrying case. So just sit down in the comfort of your own home, guys, and just browse through everything that we have. I want to show you guys, I'm going to ready to take you off of the camera and show you, show you the pieces right here. That's 30,000 pieces. Look, for your mom and pop stores, if you need a, swallow, a, sm a smaller count than 30,000, look. I got 6,000 pieces here. No matter what color that you want, I can bag it and I can ship it to you. 6,000 pieces. We actually put them on a scale. It's five pounds. Okay? That equals 6,000 pieces. So, guys, if you need that, I can supply you. If you need more than that, look, I can supply you. You need 100,000, you need a quarter of a million, I got you. Okay? Our plastics are super soft, exotic colors, and uh, we're consistent. Our plastics are always alike, and plus that curly tail rumbles through the water like nobody's business. Okay, so let me let me tell you this. This is my secret ingredient. This is one of my secrets, what I'm running. Now, you have to decide whether they're biting at night 
or whether they're biting early in the a.m. Right now we're catching them in the early in the early a.m. I use that candy apple red with that black and chartreuse hologram flake curly tail. Okay, guys, I'm killing them off of this candy apple red and that black and chartreuse curly tail. They're in the shallows. I'm catching big black males. Okay, these are some color jig heads, guys, that you need in your tackle box. The second color that I'm running is that hot pink with that black and chartreuse jig head. Okay, guys, it gives them another color, the crappie, another color to look at. They may bite that, that jig because of the color of the tail. They may bite it because of the color of the body. They may bite it because of the color of the jig head. Okay, so that's what I'm running right now. Now, when I pulled up at the tree, this is what I was running. That chartreuse jig head with that fireball red. It's right down there in the description, guys. So you can take a look at it right down there in the description. So these are some colors that you need in your tackle box when you go crappie fishing. Because when they start getting funny, you're going to have to search and find out what they like. The orange, the orange juice orange that we have right here, this has been a hot seller. People have been buying it like crazy. So if you fish muddy water, look. That orange, that hot pink, that red shows in muddy water. You fish chocolate milk, you fish clear water which is what I'm fishing. Look, you got that, that loud color. Remember, if crappie can't see it, they can't bite it. So if you want a 100-pack or you want a 40-pack, we can sell them to you. Right down there in the description, you just find which hyperlink you want and just click it, put it in your cart, and check out. Very simple to do, guys. These are 100-packs. We sell them in 40-pack and 100-pack. You'll see the color jig heads as well. Okay? Very, very simple stuff. I wanted to come on here. I wanted to show you all my secret ingredient. They absolutely love that candy apple red with that black and chartreuse. You need that to incorporate that into your game. Fireball red is a must. Some of you guys have been sending me your videos. Guys, I'm killing them off of that fireball blue. Okay? It's, it's all a matter of what you want. But these are some of the basic colors that you need in your tackle box. And you know we're home of that nasty bin hook. Nobody else carries that red nasty bin hook like Cam's Cam, that Cam's crappy hole. Here we go. Yank. Right here. Right here at the boat. Right here at the boat. Right here at the boat. Putting the size that we were looking for. And nevertheless, guys, it's a crappie. Perfect eating size crappie, too. Perfect eating size crappie. We're not going to end on that note. We're going to back out a little bit. Boy, that hook is ugly. Boy, that hook is ugly. Guys, you see how fast I grabbed my needle nose flyers? That's because of that Cam's tackle box. Get a chance, check it out. Get in the market for a tackle box. Look at that. Bingo. Let me show them to you. Oh, uh, 11 inch crappie. Not what we were looking for, but we're gonna go ahead and put him in the basket. When you guys can see this, just when I was getting prepared to get ready to roll, look at this. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel like a, a crappie. Doesn't feel like a crappie at all. It does not feel, oh, it does not feel like a crappie at all. Where's my net? It does not feel like a crappie. Oh! It does not feel like a crappie at all. Guys, that's that silver stallion. That's why you run, want to run a 6. Yep, it is a crappie. It is a crappie. That's why you want to run that 6-6. Six, six. Gives you a little bit more control. Just when I was getting ready to get set up. <laughs> Let me see if I got you guys. Yep, I got you. I think, yep, I got you. Look at that line, he stretched that six pound. Now, I run six pound monofilament, guys. You run whatever you choose to run. Yep, they're in there. Wow. Let me show them to you. Guys, another 13 inch crappie. Another 13 inch crappie. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see it. I'm trying to get myself in position. Get ready to film again, and this rascal hit. Let me back you up a little bit. Let's see if I can get you guys where you need to be. There you go, perfect. Let me pull you down a little bit. <clears throat> Look at that, black male too. Let me show you what I caught him up off of. I still got the, the line around him. <clears throat> guys, this pollen is really messing with me. Look at that. Now let me let me explain, let me show you what I, what I caught him off of. That's that, again, 
That's that fireball red. Listen, you have gotten. Let me let me say this on my specs. I, I know I went through it already one time. I had somebody to say, and you know who you are. Man, you can get those at a big box store. Listen, I want you guys to understand something. The big box store does not make plastics. Think for a little bit. Think. Man, I can get those. They, they make them at the big box store. No, they do not. The big box store don't make nothing. Okay? Think about it now. There's only a few manufacturers across this country that make jigs. And plus, this has that hologram flake in it. Nobody else has that hologram flake. That's that fireball rib with that black jig head nasty bin hook. Let me put it down so I don't get stuck with it. Guys, this is dinner. <laughs> We're going to take him home with us. Listen, until next time, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. And by the way, I want to tell you guys on Facebook, join me on my Cam's Crappy Hole community on Facebook. We are 20,000, what, what's the word that I'm looking for? Members on Facebook. Cam's Crappy Hole community. You'll see it right down there. And until next time, guys, until we get ready to film another segment, this is your boy Cam with Team Cam's Crappy Hole. Keep those hooks wet. Keep those lines tight, and we'll see you on the next turn. Next turn, I didn't shave, did I? Jake.